Hey there, everybody. My name is Rick Hutzer here with Airgun Web, your home for old school Airgun reviews, and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Today we're going to be here in the studio, and I'm like super pumped to be back here again. It's been a while, uh, and I miss being in here. It gives us the opportunity to do videos like this. We've got a couple cool products here on the table, one of which is the new Air Venturi Rove Air. It's already been released, so you guys have probably already seen some videos on it. But we're going to walk through some steps and stages and kind of checks and fill times and that kind of fun stuff. And I got my custom Air Venturi Avenger. What an awesome stinking air gun in air gun web colors. It's awesome. We're going to do this video. Let's get started. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. <clears throat> so the Rover, it is a personal portable compressor that fills to 4,500 PSI, runs on 110 or 12 volt, and it's compact, small, efficient, and affordable. Uh, that's kind of what we all want as air gunners, right? I mean, if we like shooting our air guns, I know when I first started shooting PCPs, I was like constantly concerned about where am I going to get high pressure air because if I go out and shoot this afternoon and I run out of air I'm going to have to go to the scuba shop and get air and that was like an hour and a half drive so it's very cool for us these days to have an affordable way to make air for our air guns it's sort of like if you reload firearms it's like having an unlimited supply of gunpowder that's awesome right so you know that's what these little compressors give us yes you can hand pump you can have scuba tanks but hand pumping gets to be a lot of work, especially when you have a gun like this that takes 300 bar. We're not talking 200 bar, we're talking 300 bar. Relatively small cylinder, but still you're having to get that pressure up and it's a lot of work. And now we have guns that are 4,500 PSI with bigger bottles and that's just, I don't call that hand pump friendly. So you need another option. Now you can go with a tank, tanks are great. Uh, and they can definitely top your gun off a couple times, but like this gun at 300 bar, if my tank is 310 bar, I'm going to get a handful of, of top offs before my tank pressure is below that 300 bar. And it doesn't matter how big my tank is, it's only ever going to equalize with my gun, right? So if you guys have used scuba tanks or been doing this a while, you realize that you can have a huge tank, and if it's 2,500 PSI, in the tank, you're only going to get 2,500 PSI into whatever you're filling. So you're not going to get extra just because that's more, you know, bigger volume. So with guns like this, after a few fills, you're still going to be hunting a way to get to that full 300 bar or whatever it is. And that's where these little compressors come into play. Now, there's been a, a bunch of them out there. A beautiful thing is, is that Oh my gosh, I mean, today we've had many, many, many generations of these. Now these are maintenance free, they're oil free, water, you don't need water cooling. They have pretty robust, this has a, a, a pretty serious fan here that blows across, and the converter back here has a fan. So it's got, you know, some pretty decent cooling here. Um, it's auto shut off, so that's cool. It's, uh, again, either 110 or 12 volt. and. And it's all in one. I mean, gone are those little converters, and I'm happy to see those things go. I thought they were paying the butt. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's it. At 500 bucks, you could have your own air for your air guns, and that's awesome. So let me show you how this thing works, talk about some of the features. All right, so on the back side, we have our power connectors. We have our 12 volt here and our 110 here. We have a, a breaker here. So if you, for whatever reason, blow the breaker, it's resettable. That's kind of cool. Across the top, we have our power. Uh, so we have our power, which is a rocker switch for AC or 12 volt. We have our start stop button and then we have our um, set the pressure gauge here. So this is your auto stop. Tells you how much air you're putting in and also where you're going to stop to tell the compressor to stop. And around the front, we've got our output port. We've got a burst disc. So if it overpressures or for whatever reason, it's got a safety there. If it blows, it can be a little scary but it's not going to damage the compressor. That's going to go before the compressor goes, which that's awesome. And if it does happen and it, they do wear out and they do go, so that it's not a huge deal, you got some extra burst discs right in the spare parts bag, which is cool. Um, all right. And then we have our bleeder. Let's not forget our bleed valve here. So this 
Uh, when your hose has 4,500 PSI in it, you're not getting it off your gun <laughs> unless you bleed the air out of it. So you gotta have a bleeder. So let's walk through the process. We're gonna go ahead and plug this in and you're gonna hear the converter fan kick on. One nice, really nice thing about this unit, it's relatively quiet. Um, a lot of them that can be really loud. <laughs> this is pretty decent. I mean, it's actually pretty nice. Let's go ahead and connect our hose. Uh, I am thrilled they provide a little filter. That's super helpful. Um, helps slow down dirt and moisture and all that kind of stuff that can get in your air gun. We're in El Paso area, 6% humidity. We really don't have a lot of uh, moisture to deal with, but if you live in a place that's you know, like South Carolina, like I used to live, or South Florida or whatever, you will be glad you have this, and you're going to have to you know, check it. It comes with some extra filters, so keep an eye on it. So what we're going to do here first before we, well, I'm going to kind of demo what it's like to fill a gun. Um, before we do that, though, I want to kind of show you how to test the compressor when you get it. So out of the box, what I suggest you do is get an idea of your basic fill time. Um, this is good. This is diagnostic information you may want to have in the future. Um, if you're using this, sorry, if you're using this like a lot, like let's say you shoot multiple times a week and you're using this five, six times every time you go out. Okay, you're going to put some wear and tear on this. And as you use it, um, if you every so often, like I would get an hour meter, just Amazon hour meter, boom, there you go. Uh, and you know, like every hour, every couple hours, run a test. Is it slowing down? Am I, am I still feeling at the same rate? If, it, if you start to see it start to take longer, then I would get hold of Air Venturi and see if they have a rebuild kit and you know have them suggest, suggest some maintenance. Now, this is a brand new product. Um, I have no idea the longevity, but I mean, the reality is uh, Air Venturi's been pretty good about, you know, one, making sure the product's good out the door, and two, um, backing up their products. So I think that's really cool, and it's, you know, there you probably get cheaper options, but will you get the same support? Will you get the same sort of help? Um, yeah, maybe not. So Air Venturi's always been really good to me, so you definitely want to consider that. So again, we're talking about a $500 unlimited uh, gunpowder kind of concept, so pretty cool. All right, so what I like to do, and I've got a test plug in here, so that's gonna let us fill just the system. We're gonna fill this to 4,500. Right, it's hard, I got a glare, it's hard to see. Okay, fill to 4,500. What I like to do is, I don't like to close the bleed valve until the compressor's been chugging a little bit, and then, I'm just gonna aim it like that, let's see if I see it. Does that help? We'll see. I like to let it chug a little bit, and then I'll shut the bleeder. When I shut the bleeder, I'm going to start the timer. And we've been averaging about 46, 48 seconds, give or take, if I'm hitting the buttons just so. Um, yeah, let's see how she does. I'm going to switch the AC on. That's going to start the fan. There's the cooling fan going. And then when I hit this button, it's going to start the compressor. And that's it. That's actually really quiet as far as these pers these personal per <laughs> that's actually really quiet as you know for these personal portable compressors. I'm gonna get those words out eventually. Um, that's actually pretty good. So let's go ahead and close the bleeder and I'll start the timer. Okay. And we're building air immediately. That's 1,000 psi. PSI. Three thousand PSI. Four thousand PSI. Forty six seconds, forty six point four three, so 46, 47 seconds is working exactly like it has been uh, all day for me. So that's pretty cool. Okay. So this Air Venturi Avenger, the uh, reason I wanted to show this on this video is because it really highlights why uh, you may want something like this. If you were only ever just topping off your gun, actually, you could hand pump this. It would be okay. But this gun is like 
super tunable, right? So you can adjust the reg. It's just really, really cool. And it's just a, a screw on the bottom to make that adjustment. But if you're going to turn the reg down, you got to drain the gun. So that's not just topping it off. That's like from dead empty to 300 bar. Yeah, that takes a bit of work. And I've done it just with the Air Venturi, the, the Hill MK4 or whatever they're up to now, MK4 or 5. Uh, it takes a lot of strokes to get this thing full. It takes right around nine minutes to fill this from dead empty to full. And if you're at like um, like the reg right now, out of the box was set to 2,900 PSI. Uh, if I shoot four mags, I'm like right there. I'm at 3,000 PSI. So if I go from 3,000 to 4,300, it takes right around three minutes and 20 some odd seconds. I've got the timers here. I'll have them put up on the screen here. But it's, you know, if I'm just topping this off, we're talking less than three and a half minutes. I mean, I can go down, change targets, come back, and my gun's ready to shoot. That's cool. If I need to tune it or work on it, or let's say I got a gun that has a bigger tank or whatever, the fill rate's pretty decent from dead empty to full eight, you know, well, 840, 850, so let's say nine minutes. That's really, really good as far as I'm concerned, and certainly way faster than pumping by hand. <laughs> All right. So let's say you do want to fill your gun. What you're going to want to do, go ahead and hook this up. We're going to leave our bleeder open, and we always need to make sure we set our shut off to match whatever our fill, you know, our max fill is on the gun. So, yeah, if you're testing this at 45, and then you maybe hook this up to like a Benjamin Gunner or something that's a 3,000 psi gun, you valve lock the dog on things. So be careful with that. Make sure that you're always matching your, your fill pressure. So this is 300 bar. So we're going to turn this down a little bit. Okay, so I'm at 300 bar. Boy, the glare is tough here. Uh, I want to make sure I've got it right. Okay, so there's a little pin, and I don't know if I can photograph that. Maybe from this angle I'll try. There's a little pin that sort of sets on the dial and the, the arm comes, swings, like here's the pin. The arm swings across, makes contact, and that's what tells it to stop. So that little pin needs to be right on the pressure you want. So don't use the arm, you wanna go by the little pin. All right, let's go ahead and top off our gun. Now this is basically topped off, so this is just a basic demo, but you guys get the idea. All right, so here we go. We're connected to our gun. Our, our converter's running. Our bleed valve is open. We'll switch to AC. Go ahead and start it. I'm not gonna mess with the timer here because I've already done all that work. Just gonna show you guys how this works here. All right, and then we shut that, and now we just wait for it to fill our gun. Again, if I was just topping this off, it'd be less than three and a half minutes. If I was doing maintenance on it, rebuilding it, working on it, or working with a reg, a little under nine minutes. So that's what we're getting for fill rates out of this, and I believe from what I'm told, that's right in line with the Nomad 3. So, yeah, pretty significant savings. Pretty nice little compressor. Disconnect it. Disconnect this, replace her fill cap. And that's how she's done. Pretty cool. Before we go, I um, want to point out this does come with a very simple, short manual. Um, if you're not used to compressors, or even if you are used to compressors and you've never touched this one, take five minutes, read the manual. It's going to be useful. You may learn something in there you didn't know. Um, the one thing I would say, if there's a caveat, I would just say watch your fill times. If it's going like to 10, 15, 20 minutes, I would say pause, take a time out, bleed the reservoir to make sure you're not dumping a bunch of moisture up into the system. That can be bad. Uh, bleed it off and then let it rest and then start again. You really shouldn't be filling anything that takes 20 minutes, frankly. Um, and if it's taking that long, if you've done your, if you did your test right when you got it and you can go back and check, oh, all right, it's taking me longer to fill, then at least you know, again, diagnostic information, you know, you can give Air Venturi a call and, 
and they can walk you through some troubleshooting potentially. But I've been using this all day, working great. I did have a burst disc go on me, um, but that is all part of the part of the game, and they had extras. So two minutes, back up and running. That's cool. I like it. Guys, that's going to be it for now. Uh, if you like these types of videos, if you want to see more of them, uh, let us know in the comments, and we'll do what we can to... Uh, yeah, reach out and see what other kind of cool products we can get here and do some cool studio videos. That's going to be it for now. My name is Rick Utzer here with Airgun Web, your home for old school Airgun reviews where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.